Sloan Stevens went down to love 40-15 to start her fourth round against Jill Tickman, who had previously never been this far at the slam. The former number three did not lose another game in the rest of the 63-minute match and trounced the 23rd seed 6-2, 6 love for her quickest win of the campaign. She arrived in Paris with an 0-4 preparation on clay, including a shocker to world number 306, Nafisa Berbovich in Strasbourg, her worst defeat since 2011. On top of that, her Guadalajara title run in February was the only time she won more than two matches in a row since last year's Roland Garros. She has overcome these adversities to showcase her evergreen form at this tournament, her most productive major with 32 career wins. U.S. Open is a distant second, 23. It's not been an easy path, having to rally from a set deficit against Julie Niemeyer and Sorana Sestera in the first two rounds. She is about to play her seventh major quarterfinal, where she's 3-3, three and three, and the first time since losing to Joanna Conta, 6-1, 6-4 at Roland Garros in 2019. It was also here in Paris, where she last cleared the last eight hurdle and went on to become runner-up to Simona Halep in 2018, where she also led by a set and a break. Coco Goff trailed the opening set by a break twice, but won the last eight games to defeat Elise Mertens 6-4, 6 love and return to the Roland Garros quarterfinal. It was her most convincing performance in terms of number of games lost, although she has not dropped a set in any of her four rounds. It is the first time she has won four matches in a row since the 2021 Roland Garros. A year ago, she reached her first slam quarterfinal without losing a set, albeit surviving two tiebreakers and benefiting from her retirement and lost to eventual champion Krejcikova 7-6, sorry, 6-3 at this stage. She arrived with a modest 5-3 clay swing with her last quarterfinal coming Doha three months ago. The teenager moved past tricky floaters in Canopy and Van Oitvank, becoming the first player to earn multiple slam quarterfinals before turning 19 since Vaida Sova in 2007. She holds an even 6-5 and five record in quarterfinal affairs, including 2-2 two and two on clay courts. All those four matches came during 2021. It's going to be only her second quarterfinal battle with a former Grand Slam champion after last year's Rome, where Ashley Barty, Barty retired despite holding a 6-4, 2-1 lead. Head-to-head, -head, Sloane Stevens leads 1-0. The Americans met in the second round of the 2021 U.S. Open as Hurricane Ida pummeled the roof at Arthur Ashe Stadium. The older compatriot and the 2017 champion faced and saved a lone breakpoint and blitzed past 6-4, 6-2 in just over an hour. I'm going back with another dog in this one. Just like I did in the previous match between Trevisan and Fernandez, this one I'm going to go with Sloane Stevens in an upset at plus 162 currently. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. You liking it? You hating it? You telling it? You fading it? Are you playing it? What are you doing? Need to know? Comment section below. Take care and we'll see you on the flip side. This is Trending Rabbit.